Hi guys. We're going to see how quickly we can make a little electric powered boat using the electric motor that I've taken out of this solar vent. That's the electric motor. I've got a piece of polystyrene. I've got a bit of bicycle spoke here with a bit of insulation on it taken off of a bit of power cable. So if I take my little bit of sticky tape off there that'll stick on there. I'll drill a little hole through the boat there so we can have the shaft, couldn't think what it was called there, <laughs> propeller shaft, going down through the middle. I'll find a little propeller. In my box of propellers. these should do. These are taken out of garden ornaments. They normally just sit on the front and blow in the wind. But I decided they were just the right sort of size to use as propellers. That will need a bit of um, plastic in it to fill it out. So it goes on there okay. So do that. I guess we could actually measure it. Four and a quarter. four and a quarter. So two and one eighth. So that's the middle of our boat. bin. sharp enough this one. You need a really sharp blade if you're going to cut this neatly. You've got a bit of roughness in there.
down through there somewhere. This is going to be very smelly and the fumes are not good for you. Nice big hole there now. Got a bit of plastic tubing there that comes out of um, a soap dispenser. some hot glue in there to seal the hole up again. And I might shorten this bicycle spoke a bit because we don't need it to be that long. I'll shorten it back to about there somewhere. Right, need to put the hot glue gun on. While we're waiting for the hot glue gun to warm up, here's another piece of that insulation off of power cable, just a short piece. But it's enough to make up the difference in there. back on there. Alright, we want this just raised up a little bit. So if we take a bit of a scrap. do. Right, hot glue gun. Or it clears the propeller underneath. It really doesn't matter if water comes up there anyway, but it probably looks a bit neater if it's all held in place. Right, here I've got a little battery pack that comes from a set of LED lights. But it holds two AA batteries and it's got an on-off switch on it. So I'll fit that there and wire it up.
put a rudder on the back so we can give it some sort of steering. For the rudder, I'm just going to cut a piece of polystyrene out of this pizza tray. Any piece of plastic would do. a bent paper clip, if I can find one. that a bit longer. Got another bit of plastic tubing. Do. Bit of hot glue. cool down for a minute. There's our rudder, hot glued. So we'll just hot glue that plastic tube on the back there. And we can adjust the steering by lifting it up, turning it and sticking it in again. down and then we'll see if we can run some water in the bath and give it a test run. Bath full of water. Well, 
that works. It's going to work its way round if I leave it alone. Let's do the rudder. So the idea was we just lift it up like that and turn it. And then push it back into the polystyrene to hold it. the bath's not really big enough to demonstrate the turning. So that works too. Job done, I'd say. Quite a fast little boat as well when it's not actually stuck on the side. So, success.